My son, you dropped a video a couple of hours ago talking about the YouTube frauds exposed. All right. Y'all do me a favor and hit the like button right quick, man. Look, this is I Smoke Hip Hop Live. I'm your God bless one, the host. Now, my son, you waited until Kwame Brown came out the woodworks to articulate himself and give that, that niggas genesis quad to the world. Basically, he handled Hassan the way you have failed. Many of us handled Hassan in a certain way. I'm not coming at Hassan. This is a video about my son. I'm referencing Kwame Brown and Hassan for a reason. You like to placate on other dudes backward and even females at that as well. You like to placate upon them to make it look like you're the one doing the legwork. You're more of a fraud than what Hassan could be or ever will be. Because I don't know what somebody's potential growth or downfall on YouTube is. I don't sit down watching dudes on YouTube and praying for the downfall of so-called people that don't like me. And there ain't enough time in the world for me to waste my life doing that. But you, my son, I will definitely break down etiquette, proper scriptures like this. Because this, this video is a scripture. Shout out to the YouTube team. For you to write that and then engage in a cowardly way towards Hassan, you think by not adding his name is some type of stance and some type of whiff for all of, of convictions from this fake activist, another, what way I can call the, the, the fake dude, Steven Jackson, another religious educational purpose and a wannabe thug type dude. Like, man, nigga, go sit down with that garbage, bro. Everything about you, my nigga, I stared at and look. First of all, I'm not going to give nobody flowers for getting locked up or nothing like that. But I will say free your ass because I don't believe nobody belongs in there being treated like a dog. Yeah, y'all know how I feel about that. It is what it is. We can discuss that at a later date. For you to fall back and, and say that, bro, you worrying about Hassan steadily, repeatedly. But he puts you to shames in certain exploits of his videos because he does explore people he talk about just like many YouTubers. It is what it is. But he actually made sense when it came to you. Now, my differences with Hassan, I'll always stand on that. I'm not here capping for Hassan at all. I'm just looking like, do you know what's more hurtful to the so-called black community? Do you know what's more hurtful? It's not Hassan. Hassan, people can look at him as a court jester or whether they look at him as a leader, a joke, an op, an enemy. It is what it is. Folks got their own reasons. Entertainment, it is what it is. But what you got going on is more dangerous. You actually trying to build something that's a, a movement for us. And it's not. It's a charade. It's backed by other charade folks in there. And I'm not going to say that that organization's name. Many of y'all know which organization my son falls upon on. And the, the way you two standards are, I'm just not going to say their names. You know what I mean? Don't, don't get mad at dudes like me for not saying their names. Look at guys like my son. My son, I would love to debate you, but I would have to have respect for someone to debate them. I don't have an educational purpose respect for you, my guy. You literally showed all these rah-rah talks that dudes do. You have no moral ethics. I watched some of the things you said about Rick Ross, the rapper or whatever, when the correctional officer video got there. That was years ago when I was in the military and Q was still alive. Shout out, rest in peace to Q, um, the, um, the founder of um, World Star Hip Hop. And a lot of y'all don't even know, MREC and um, what's the other dude? My other guy's name, Jordan Towers. They also had help and making world star hip hop. Basically, they said Q ran with it. I'm gonna say allegedly, cause that's just the words of, you know, Jordan Towers and Emrek, and, and, and Q can't defend himself, so I'm gonna say alleged. But I mean, at the end of the day, I seen them 2009 videos, my guy. You were this Black Panther, this all this, this extra shit, bruh. While trying to still placate to be this gangster. Look, ain't nothing wrong being a warrior. To me, being a warrior is the real gangsters. But you got to stand for something, though. You stand for absolutely nothing. Ain't nothing wrong chasing the money. Go get your money, King. I don't hit on no man getting his bread. Let's just put that to the side. Even if it's in a shysty way, you got to get your bread. Go get your bread. I don't knock the hustle, bro. But I do knock the message. If that message is continually being pushed, 
through people who look like me and you, bruh. This is wild, bruh. And they took this dude. He went in them, them secret rooms, allegedly, that everybody talk about. I guarantee you this dude went to the meetings where the, the so-called stylists be like, there's a party at 3 o'clock. Shout out to all the real ones who told us about those type of secret meetings, educational purpose. I just find it funny that you started one way and you go another way. How you don't call out that same organization you following? I mean, you got different so-called founders. Each one of them got like four mentions and you ain't called that out yet. But you want us to believe we're supposed to look at your acceptance of anger going towards a Hassan. My nigga, if you really speak for the people, ain't there a bigger mission than you keep going back and forth with that nigga? Huh, King? Ain't there a better mission than you to keep going back and forth with Hassan, my nigga? Ain't you standing for something greater, but you still got time to do a brief intermission, which was the longest fuck one, but an intermission to go back and forth with this guy? Please, bruh. Who is Hassan compared to what the truth is, King? Who the hell is Hassan Campbell compared to the truth of this world, bruh? And you show the problematic situation in our community. Another nigga full of himself. He think he's greater and bigger than what the world perceives or what he really is in actuality. And I'm not trying to diminish anybody's dreams and hope. Because that's all we have left when the world give us only a dark forsaken place to fall in. All we have left is hope. I would never take that away from a man or whatever. But sometimes it's good to look in that goddamn mirror and know who the fuck you are already. In other words, like your, your, your teachers told you in elementary, don't go over your heads. Don't let that go over your head as well. Educational purpose. My son, you're a, I don't want to use the word for YouTube purposes, so I'm going to say it better. You're a conniving hustler. You're a race hustler. You're the typical foul sharpen and messy Jackson, my nigga. Ain't, ain't no, I mean, you can intertwine all you guys together and you'll get the same piece of crap, bruh. You cook that piece of crap in the oven, add all different type of alternative um, motives, a.k.a. ingredients, and you're still going to get the same slithering snakes. Even if your grass is, these snakes is different. They hybrids. That's what my son is. Typically and normally when you cut your grass, you can see all the snakes coming. In fact, they won't even lurk in that area. It's too visible. Hawks and all these type of birds and predators. Because remember, they get snakes also have predators who come at them. So they move smart out here. But these new type of hybrid snakes such as my son, they, they, they wear it through anything, bro. Whether your grass is cut or not, they coming. Whether your grass is coming or not, they coming. There's too many points I could make with my son character. But I'd rather stick to this character of everything you've preached in the forefront, in the midst of the past. L look at it, bro. It's basically the chicken homes co coming home to roost. But I don't feel like saying that because you're a typical cliche. We've seen guys like you, uh, millions of you, bro. Y'all yeah, easy to be, not, I'm not even going to say hood ring, to be lured in with the lustful ways of what that monetary gain is. Big facts. That ain't cap at all. That's super facts on that. My son is what you got today, the, the product of a nigga that's full of himself, and he thought he was greater and above and beyond than what everything is around him. He didn't even get time to do the research and the proper things of the things he goes on them bigger national platforms and just speak there. He just felt good he's on TV again because he sat in prison for 10 years behind some fake dudes who didn't even hold him up. So now he did a charge for niggas, and he didn't even have nothing to do with it, and he went through the moral ethics of not snitching. Salute to you on that, but look how dumb that feels. I'm just saying, not saying I support snitch, none of that, but this is what his bitterness is. So I'm going to get relevancy at any way, shapes, or form. That's what my son doing for y'all. Clear point, bro. You can't get around that. My son is dancing through the hoopalas of what you see in the world today because this is what's going to make my son. That's what's going to make him be what he appears to be to many of you all. No disrespect. No disrespect. My son. The street nigga, the inmate, the activist. Seems like every hood nigga or even niggas in the suburbs, every black man and woman want to be this activist. But what are you activating? How the fuck are you an activist but that same fucking community is still asleep? A deep sleep. Deep sp deep, deep sleep nine type is, bro. I mean, it's different levels, degrees, and we on degree number nine, if not higher than that. How the hell are you an activist? What are you activating amongst the people? What are you motivating up here? Because I can ask anybody who watches you and say they support you. And I'll ask them a real question, man to man and, and man to woman. You know what I mean? Give them that respect and look at me in my eyes. Does my son motivate you 
the way the most high or your mom and dad or somebody equal to that, something that changed your life. Does he motivate you like that? And if you even told me an ounce of no, stop wasting your damn life on something that's the typical norm. You go against the grain to get change. You don't go with the grain. It's you just become typical in what we continue to have. You got to go against the grain. My son and supporting him is not going against the grain. You following in pursuit of the typical madness we've been following, if not for ages upon ages. Big facts. Big facts. My son is the slithering, leathery snakes that we see every single day. In fact, if you want to call me a snake, at least I can somewhat embrace it and say I'm human. And I don't trust no human being, and sometimes including myself. Humans are deceptive motherfuckers. <laughs> we can deceive like, like all of us know what I'm saying. At least I can have the integrity to say, you know what? I might be guilty of that too. How about you? Yeah, look at yourself. Are you guilty of these things I brought forth? I know I am some of them. So now you look at my son. What holds him highly as king? Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Come rock out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute to everybody out here, man. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed.